uh, hello everyone good day good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when this video goes to you so here again is another section where i will be solving a question based on request i'm excited because uh, i can see that there are some people who I've gone through my YouTube video, someone saw this video, I liked it, and the person sent me a comment, said very explanatory, thanks so much, please solve this, and the, uh, the individual also brought a question for me to solve, it says, calculate the area of the major segment of the circle of radius 10 centimeters cut off by a curve of length 12 centimeters once again thank you very much for this feedback and this question i'll be looking forward to such questions as it motivates me and encourages me to do more okay so i have copied the question down on my sketch pad here is the question again it says calculate the area of the major segment of the circle of radius 10 centimeters cut off by a curve of length 12 centimeters. Uh, without wasting much of the time, I will dive into the solution to the question. So here on my screen is the circle. Let me insert the radius of the circle, 10 centimeters. And this is also 10 centimeters, where the length of the cord is given as 12 centimeters. Alright, so before you understand the solution, you must know that in a circle, a chord or a segment is said to be formed when a chord divides a circle into two parts. So this line, which is 12 centimeters in length, is the chord. But divided this circle into the minor segment, which is where the region I'm shading right away, this region is the minor segment formed by the chord being introduced in the circle and we also have the major segment which is this region of space that is shaded blue so the region of space shaded green is the minor segment while this region of space shaded blue is the major segment now having said that it is obvious and clear and uh, it's reasonable to see that to calculate the area of this major segment all we need to do is to calculate the area of the whole circle the whole circle and subtract the area of the minor segment it makes sense when you calculate the area of the whole circle and subtract the area of the minor segment that is logical enough to say that 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 difference will be the area of minor segments or you can also look at it in this way you see to calculate the area of the minor segment what we need to do is to calculate the area of the major sector so here is the major sector without including the triangle that's the major sector and then we add the area of the triangle so any of these two uh, formulas would work just fine for calculating the area of the major segment. Now, I would prefer the second formula because it's uh, somehow short. Uh, why do I say I'm going to prefer the, prefer the second formula? Because to calculate the area of the minor segment, I would have to calculate the area, the formula for area of the minor segment is area of area of the minor sector area of minor sector minus or uh, minor area of minor sector minus area of triangle. So I have to do all of these to do to calculate the area of the minor sector. So it means I'll calculate area of sector, area of triangle, area of circles, so I'm calculating three different things if I'm to make use of the first uh, formula which doesn't it doesn't uh, seem 
very short or quick for me. So that is why I'll be going with the second formula. But any formula you use, you should arrive at the same answer. The area of major sector plus area of triangle is what I'm going to use to solve this particular question. Having said that, let's recall the formula for area of a major sector that is equal to 360 degrees minus theta over 360 times 360 minus over 360 times the area of the circle that is a fraction of the area of circle would be equal to the area of the major segment and the area of the triangle should be equal to 1 over 2 base times height which is also fine if I decide to make it of 1 over 2 AB sine theta alright where my A would be this side of the triangle my B would be this side of the triangle and the theta is of course the angle suspended at the center of the circle. So, uh, looking at this formula written on my screen, you would observe that all other uh, variables are known. The radius is known. The value of pi is assumed to be 22 over 7, although it's not you know, specified in the question. But let's just take it as 22 over 7 since. This is universally accepted and uh, what is left for us to calculate is the value of theta and h because the base of the triangle is also known. But if I'm to make use of this other formula to calculate the area of the triangle, the value of a is known which is 10 cm, the value of b is known which is also 10 cm, so all I'm just be needing is the angle theta, the angle suspended at the center of the circle. Uh, I hope this makes sense so far. Alright, so having said this, let's kick off and see how to calculate the value of the angle theta. And now to solve for this angle theta, we can actually decide to make it of uh, two different, you know, approach. So I can decide to use uh, the cosine rule, which are uh, suitable to solve for theta. And I can also decide to make it of uh, the sine, sine, by the trigonometric ratio sine, which will also work. But if I'm going to use sine to solve this particular question, it means I would have to introduce a straight line from the center of the circle to the chord in the circle and apply uh, a theorem from, from a circle geometry which states that the straight line drawn from the center of the circle to be called in the circle is a perpendicular bisector of the curve. So what it implies is that if this line, given that this line is 12 centimeters, as I've introduced the straight line from the center of the circle to the curve, uh, that means this directly implies that the, from the distance from the circumference of the circle to the point where the straight line uh, intersects with the curve, is six centimeters while this is also six centimeters since by the theorem this straight line is in color blue is a bisector and it also divides angle theta into two so here will be theta over two this angle will also be theta over two let me call it alpha where alpha is equal to half of theta i hope this makes sense but don't forget the angle required to solve this question is actually theta, and theta will be 2 alpha. So whenever I solve, when I solve for the value of alpha, <coughs> excuse me, all I need to do is multiply the value by 2, and that will be equal to the value of theta. So that makes sense so far. Now, having done this, let's look at this right angle triangle with length 10 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and one of the interior angles alpha so looking at the triangle you would agree with me that the trigonometric ratio that would work for this 
uh, triangle to solve for the angle alpha is sine alpha. So sine alpha is equal to opposite which is 6 over hypotenuse which is 10. That means alpha will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.6 because 6 divided by 10 is 0 0.6. That makes sense. So when you point your calculator for the sine inverse of 0 0.6, you should get a value as a value as 36.87 approximately. 36.87 is the value of alpha. So that by the time you multiply alpha by 2, the value of theta should be equal to so 2 times 36.87 should be equal to, if you do your calculation correctly, uh, you should get 73.74, 73.74, and this makes sense, this makes a lot of sense. So now that we've been able to solve for the value of theta, and uh, what else do we need? We need to solve for the value of theta, so we could actually go ahead and solve for the value of h. Which is very easy. Remember, I said again that you can actually apply this formula, this particular formula over here, to solve for the area of a triangle. Or I'm, the way I'm looking at it, it seems it's going to be longer than using this formula. Let me just solve for height because solve for the height of this, the height of this right angle triangle. I don't think it's going to be uh, something that is too long or too difficult. I'm going to apply Pythagoras theorem. This states that h squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, that is 10 squared, minus the other side squared, which is uh, 6 squared. So h is equal to the square root of 100 minus 36, which is equal to 64. All right, 136, and that is equal to the square root of 64. And obviously, the square root of 64 is nothing but 8 centimeters. So this also makes sense, it makes a lot of sense. Now if you're able to solve for the value of alpha, so the value of theta, the value of the height of the triangle, you have the base, you have the radius, and every other thing is given. Where the base of the, of the triangle remains 12 centimeters. So all we need to do now is to punch uh, our calculator after substituting each of these values into the formula and you will be good to go. Alright, so I hope this makes sense so far. So now that we are ready to go, let's continue with our solution. Okay, then let me scroll too far so that I can see where I'm going to start off from. So let's continue our solution uh, at this side of the screen. So this will be equal to 360. Don't forget what we're about to calculate is the area of the major segment. Equal to 360 degrees minus theta. What is the value of theta? 73.74 degrees divided by 360 degrees times times 22 over 7 times 22 over 7 times the radius of the circle which is 10 raised to power 2 then we are adding the area of the triangle half times base which is 12 times height and the height is 8 all right so this makes sense and then uh, i believe you are following the solution all right so this is going to be equal to when you subtract uh, 73.74 from 360. Let's do that together over on my calculator. So 360 degrees minus 73.74 that is equal to 286.26. 286.26. This makes sense. So we divide our value by 360. And let's simplify the other side of the equation. So 22 times 10 squared that will be equal to 200, 2,200 
or you can say 2200 it also makes sense divided by 7 plus all right 2 can uh, divide 12 6 times excuse me 6 times and 6 times 8 is 48 so here is equal to so let's do further with our division uh, that is the value 286.26 let's divide that value by 360 so that gives 0.79517 let's take it to five decimal places 0.79517 times to so also divide 2200 divided by 7 so that it that is equal to 314.2857 so this is times 314 314.2857 uh, then we're going to add 48 to that product so let's go ahead and take the product so that value times that value times uh, 0 0.79 0 0.79517 that is equal to 249.94 then add 48 to that result that is equal to 297.9 which is approximately 200 and 98 centimeter square and this makes a lot of sense so here is the final answer it is very easy and uh, i believe it's uh, understandable so if you have any question for that question and this solution please feel free to post your questions and your comments uh, thank you once more for bringing up this question, please uh, do me a favor by posting uh, more questions and that will motivate me the more. So do have a lovely day and uh, remember to share this video, you know, post your comments, like it, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more exciting videos of this nature. Goodbye.